Look, if you're in the car with your parents right now, I just want you to turn to them and I want you to say thank you. Right now, give you time to say thank you. I'm reading this statistic this morning. You know how much it costs now to raise kids up to 18 years old? A lot. $300,000. Now, when you when you go over like that, it takes away from <laughs> the shocking number uh, that I'm going two, to. So you have to say dollars. something low. <laughs> a, a singular dollar. So say uh, uh, $167. <laughs> Great guess, but no, $240,000. What? Would have been shocking had she not said her. <laughs> <laughs> and that's to get them from birth till 18? 18 years old, right? Yeah. Uh, they examined the necessities from birth to 18, did not in include enrichment activities like sports and arts. Now you're up to three. Yep, see? There you go. You, you nailed it. <laughs> I, lo- I love my arts growing up. That's how I knew. Oh, also, damn. did they account for future inflation? Because I feel like it's going to be like 400 Not yet, but $240,000 as of right now until 18. Per Thank child. you, damn parents. Wow. Per child, Per child, child right? yes. <sighs> what would you do with $480,000? <laughs> Not be here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brittany here needs our help. She got kind of a confusing situation going on right now. She needed a place to crash. She knew exactly the place to go. Her husband, though, I don't think is very happy about it. Uh, Hey, Brittany. Hi. Hey, okay, so what do you got going on here, and what's got your husband all bummed out? Okay, so I am... I'm going back to my hometown for a wedding, um, and my best friend, I always stay at her house, and so I'm going to just stay at her house again, but she's going to be out of town, which is fine. That's normal. I've stayed at her house before when she's not there, Um, but now she has a boyfriend who lives there, which is new, and I think it's perfectly fine. I'm a married woman. My husband, on the other hand, he thinks it's shady, which... I just want y'all's opinion because, to me, I think he's tripping out. I think he's making more out of it than it needs to be. I don't even know this guy. Um, I'm just going to stay in my quarters. He's going to stay in his, and I'm going to go to the wedding, and that's that. All right, Brittany, for for a second here, I want you to play the attorney for your husband. So if he was being represented, what is his side of the argument here? (laughs) Um... That I'm, I don't know, being a loyal wife who just so happens to be under the same roof as another male. (laughs) Has he ever met this man? I've never met this man. Okay. So this he's isn't... Like, he's like her boyfriend who's living with her. So he just thinks it's inappropriate for you to be in the home with another man alone. Yeah, because I'm staying there overnight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. With the history of y'all relationship, does he have any reason to feel like something could or may happen? That's a good question. No. Um, I mean, no. But, like, mm-hmm. long, long time ago, but we're married now. That was eons ago. He has mm-hmm. no reason not to trust me. Mm-hmm. Um, is his concern strictly um like romantic like if my fiance ran this by me i would be i I don't think anything's gonna happen i know nothing would happen not on tiffany's part anyway but i don't know this dude i don't know if he's gonna try to get handsy i don't know if you're gonna be in a safe situation or not with some dude in in their house i it i'm just i'd be more nervous than anything else i'd be concerned as well just because it's a dude you don't know yeah yeah From a safety standpoint. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, but he's dating her best friend. friend. It's not like it's some rando off the street. Also, she's an adult woman, and she can assess danger for herself. Yeah, get her a taser. (laughs) But, yeah, but she won't know that until it's too late. I mean, that would be my concern. Yeah, but if you made that decision for me, I'd be like, why do you know better than I do? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't make the decision for her, but I would say this is what I'm concerned about. I mean, she's a grown-ass woman, can do whatever she wants, but I'd say, like, do we know anything about this guy besides it's your... Your best friend's dude? I mean, I don't know anything about this guy. And your best... Hmm. How long have they been dating again? I missed that. No, that's okay. They've been dating for a little less than a year. He moved in recently. um, So it's, like, new to him, too. And, yeah, Hmm. I, I, I hear you. I just... My husband has the same argument. It's just, I invited my husband, but he can't be there because of work. Yeah, I wouldn't love it. I got to be honest with you. I wouldn't love it. 
Uh, I don't think that you would screw around or anything. I just don't know this dude, and there are some dudes that are just creepy, and I'd never forgive myself if this guy did something to you and I gave it the green light and at least didn't express how I felt about it. I'm just saying I don't love it. Yeah, I feel like this is one of those things. It it depends on what battle you want to fight, and if my husband was that adamant and it made him that uncomfortable, I'd be like, all right, and then fine, I'll stay at a hotel. Mm -hmm. I'm the opposite. This, for me, what battle you want to fight, this sets a tone. And I think if you're comfortable after you've talked to your husband, like it is important to hear out your partner and their concerns. Mm -hmm. And I absolutely agree with that. And I like Kristen's route as well, if that's what you want to do. But for me, I would need to draw this line in the sand and be like, I get to make these decisions. There is nothing Mm -hmm. bad here. I feel comfortable. It's my best friend's uh, partner of almost a year. I'm going to stay in the house. It's not disrespectful. Nothing is going to happen. You're an adult. You can make that decision if you want. And for my own autonomy, I would feel like I needed to do that. He's a virtual stranger, though. But it's been almost a year. Like, if it's my best friend's man, then by proxy, you have a pass. And if it were, like, three months, I'd be like, "Eh, not so much. He moved in. She liked him and trusted him enough that they're living together. It's Mm. been almost a year. For me, like, that's a green flag. Where are you guys at? I would be concerned, but I don't I don't think I would be concerned enough to make a thing of it. Like I probably would voice my uh uncomfort, my discomfort in it, but I don't I don't think it would be to the point where I would fight it if you wanted to go and you wanted to stay. I would probably just get over it. Yeah, I think to some level this protectiveness is is sweet, but it also feels a little controlling to me, especially because they They've been dating for a year. This isn't some guy that she just met off Tinder yesterday. So I think you just take some self-defense classes and you get your butt over to your best friend's house. (laughs) See, my history is clouding my judgment because I have a best friend and her husband ended up being a complete Mm -hmm. D-bag. So... Do you D-bag think or dangerous though? Was he, he dangerous? He, he's a, he's a piece. Um, all right. Well, he, he is a, he is a pos. <laughs> so no, that, that, that's just like my history coming into it. So some people, you think you know somebody, but you don't, and it's not it's not trying to come down on your best friend for having bad judgment men or anything like that. I'm sure, like more more than not, this is a nice guy who your friend trusts, and that's fine. But again, it's a perfect stranger. You've never mm-hmm. met this person. You haven't ca- talked to him on the phone. You've never Facetimed them. You haven't gone for drinks, you haven't eaten a dinner, it would be odd spending the night with a stranger. Uh, T here took some time out of their day to give us a call, so let me take this. Hey, T, good morning. You're on the Burt Show. Um, hi, yeah. So, um, hi, everyone. I love you all. I've been listening a long time. Thank you. But um, um, I would say it's a respect thing for me. Like, there's no way I'm going to be in the same house with my friend's boyfriend when she's not home. It's like, it's a, it's a boundary thing and a respect thing. And then, too, if my husband is feeling some way about it, especially if it's a guy I don't know, it's respecting him enough to say, you know what, I feel you on that, and I'm not going to do that just because I'm going to respect mm-hmm. my husband's feelings in the situation as well. So, I mean, I wouldn't do it. I, I appreciate that. you calling. Thank you. All right, Brittany, I think we hit him all, every angle for you. Yep. Yeah, I like the idea of taking self-defense classes and putting mace in my purse <laughs> because – I think my husband should trust me. And you know what? I don't want to spend money on a hotel when my best friend can give me her place. Okay. Okay. All right. There you go. I appreciate you calling. Have fun fun at the wedding. Just be careful. Thank you. Sleep sleep with one eye open. And don't miss yourself. (laughs) (laughs) Those things can be tricky. The Burt Show.